So power distro has not really changed in the last 20 years. The last big change is when fuses were replaced by magnetic circuit breakers. The modern power distro is not much more than a collection of wires, circuit breakers located in a box. Meanwhile, the lighting and sound industry products have developed new technologies that uh, need something more important out of a power distro. The real catalyst for LSC to design the APS was the advent of the modern LED lighting fixture. We saw many venues install these modern energy efficient fixtures only to leave them running 24 hours a day, thus negating the energy savings. Some tried a master switch to turn the, problem, to turn the units on and off, but this caused problems with tripping um, upstream circuit breaker protection due to inrush currents. So we designed the APS. Um, other venues used DMX controlled relay racks to enable them to turn the fixtures on and off in smaller groups to overcome issues with inrush current. However, this became complex to operate and sometimes the operators would forget to power down the rig at the end of the night, thus negating the energy efficiency of the rig. The APS solves all these problems with elegant simplicity. In a lighting environment, as soon as a valid DMX signal is received from the lighting console, the APS starts its power up sequence. It doesn't matter if the DMX signal is a DBO, it's just the valid DMX signal that starts the sequence. And each channel is sequentially turned on with a short time delay in between each one to prevent inrush current tripping uh, circuit breakers or RCD devices. Multiple APS units can be stacked together and they'll automatically configure so that after the first unit starts up, subsequent racks automatically start their sequence as well. Then, when the lighting console is turned off at the end of the show, the APS starts a countdown timer which is programmable via the touchscreen user interface. If the DMX signal is not restored during this time, then the unit automatically powers down all the outputs, ensuring the rig is always turned off at the end of the show and energy consumption is kept to the minimum. The time delay is provided to allow the console to be unplugged and moved to other locations without the rig turning off inadvertently. An initial prototype was shown in the Australian market early 2013 and the response was very encouraging. The design was then altered to meet the actual needs of the market rather than our initial perceived needs. This included things like full phase monitoring of the voltage and current in RMS values to allow full supervision and monitoring of the loads. Many rental companies expressed the need to have a system that would protect their equipment from damage in the event of a phase neutral wiring fault at power up or a drop neutral in the middle of the show. The APS functionality includes the ability to set a maximum and minimum voltage for any, frequency, uh, for any phase to allow the system to automatically shut off the outputs in a cone if the limits are exceeded. To meet current future um, occupational health and safety requirements, as well as increasingly stringent electrical regulations, each and every output of the APS is protected by an individual 30 milliamp RCD and a neutral disconnect thermal magnetic circuit breaker. These same requirements for power distribution also apply to video walls, audio systems, AV installations and portable event power. This prompted us to add a general purpose input or voltage free contact closure to enable triggering of the start up and shutdown sequences via non-DMX devices. Additionally, a GPO or general purpose output is provided to allow a closed loop system design. Once all the channels are energised, the GPO is closed to signal external controllers that the system is running. We also provide remote monitoring and control via the RDM standard uh, to increase the flexibility of the device further. We also provide a standalone mode for those occasions where multiple units are used on an installation but are unable to be interconnected by linking cables. In the standalone mode, each unit is given a unit number and that adjusts the time delay on startup so that unit one will start up and then when that is finished, unit two will start up and unit three. This is ideal for fate and fares where all the individual market stores require power. If fed from a generator, the APS monitors the voltage and frequency output from the generator and waits for these to stabilise before it starts the power up sequence, thus protecting equipment connected. In summary, the APS provides the perfect solution to powering modern lighting, video and audio systems while providing time and labour savings, maximising safety and ensuring that energy efficiency is maximised. Thank you.